Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to another late night Doctor Who video. Yes, we've got some news, so once again I'm spontaneously here to discuss the recent findings and this is a leak, so once again bear in mind it's not confirmed but it's being reported by such reputable sources as The Mirror. Now, yeah, I say that lightly because, I mean, it, it's The Mirror, which is, for those of you outside the UK, a British sort of red-top newspaper. They say things that aren't always true, but they have a relatively reliable track record when it comes to Doctor Who news. So... Here it is, Stephen Moffat, set for Doctor Who Return as Russell T Davies, who, for those of you who don't know, but I'm presuming most most of you do, he is the former showrunner, so, well, both of them are, Russell T Davies, former showrunner of Doctor Who, who did uh, Doctor Who, he, he was the creator of the revival, so that's 2005 to 2010, and then Stephen Moffat took over from 2010 to 2017, and... Yeah, Chris Chibnall has been the showrunner, well, was the showrunner from 2018 to 2022. Now Russell's back in charge. And according to this article, which we're going to read, break down, and I'll give you my thoughts on, Stephen Moffat is also coming back, which I personally, off the bat, think is really cool. Stephen Moffat is personally... He wrote my favourite series of the show, which I'd say is series 10. So the Peter Capaldi, Bill, Nardole, that series is my favourite Doctor Who series. So yeah, having Stephen Moffat back would be fantastic. Also, I think genuinely Stephen Moffat wrote some of the best episodes of the original Russell T Davies era. When he's under, like, when he's only writing two or three episodes a series rather than the whole series, I think he tends to do a better job. Like, he came up with the concept of Weeping Angels and stuff, which is just brilliant work. So having Stephen Moffat back in any capacity, in my opinion, would be fantastic. Stephen Moffat is set to make a sensational return to Doctor Who and write adventures for new Time Lord Shooty Gatwa. So yeah, that just off the bat confirms no suspicion here. David Tennant is currently the 14th Doctor, which is mental. But yeah, and also there's a really exciting thing possibly happening on Red Nose Day. We've had these leaked pictures of Tennant with his red nose on, which is really cool. There's also a picture here you can see on screen where he's looking at his hands as if he's regenerating. So hopefully we're going to get a sketch for Red Nose Day with David Tennant as the 14th Doctor, like we always used to back when Tennant was the Doctor in 2007. I mean, this is a lot of returning people to their prior jobs, but yeah, they were some of the best of the best, so all exciting stuff. Anyway, the 61-year-old screenwriter acted as showrunner on the BBC One series between 2010 and 2017, having previously been a writer on the show during Russell T Davies' original tenure. Russell has taken control of the TARDIS once again, after being the man responsible for bringing back Doctor Who to screens in 2005, after it was cancelled in 1989, and he has asked his friend Moffat to create some episodes for the 15th Doctor Shooty Gatwa for the 2024 series. 60th anniversary is going to be the 14th Doctor as played by David Tennant, he's going to team up with Catherine Tate again, and that's going to be three feature-length specials, presumably airing in November of this year. Now, we don't know specifically when these episodes are airing, but there are rumours that it's going to be one every Saturday leading up to the 23rd of November, which I think is a Saturday again. Or, alternatively, they'll do it kind of how they released Torchwood Children of Earth way back in 2009, where you have one episode a day. So, yeah. We, we don't know, let me know in the comments what you think would be best for the show, but I'd probably prefer it weekly because it builds more hype, but, I don't know, modern streaming and TV stuff's different, so maybe having each episode on each day would be the best way to go. Before he was in charge of Doctor Who, Moffat was responsible for writing fan-favourite episodes like The Empty Child, The Girl... The Girl in the Fireplace and Blink, which introduced the Weeping Angels into the programme's Carnival of Monsters. And Davies wants Moffat to be part of the Doctor Who revolution, now that the BBC has teamed up with Disney Plus to take the show around the world on an unprecedented scale. Yeah, so this does make complete sense, because we know for a fact now it's been officially announced that Disney Plus 
are having the streaming rights to Doctor Who outside of the UK. So rather than Doctor Who going out on BBC America from now on, it'll be straight onto Disney+, Plus, which means it's in the same place as shows like the Marvel stuff, so WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you've also got the Star Wars stuff on Disney+, Plus, like The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, all of that stuff, it's gonna be in the same category, which, yeah, should appeal to a load of people of my generation, which is really, really exciting. It also means they've got an increased budget, because obviously the BBC, thanks to the current government, who I'm not going to complain about, because I always get told off in the comments, but uh, they're not great, are they? The current government are raging a war against the BBC, meaning CBBC, the children's network of the BBC, is going down. All It's all collapsing around itself, so Russell made the very wise decision when he became showrunner of partnering with Bad Wolf Studios, which is his own production company, and Disney+, Plus. so they've got a lot of funding for this new era. They've also recently talked about doing really cool drone shots in the new TARDIS console room, which is really exciting. It just shows there's a lot of high production value going into this, and it does make perfect sense to bring Stephen Moffat back, as fans absolutely loved him. Now, I would say Chris Chibnall is probably or possibly going to be invited back, but also he's just left, and Chris Chibnall's made it abundantly clear in interviews he does not want to be part of Doctor Who. But yeah, the article continues. A source says, Russell's on a mission to make Doctor Who great again, event television not to be missed, which is what it was for many years during his and Stephen's tenure in charge of the show. Now, that comment on the surface is digging at Chris Chibnall, which... I don't know as it's intended to, and if it is, I don't think that's fair. Chris Chibnall did write decent Doctor Who. Some of the episodes are more controversial than others. I personally enjoyed his tenure, but statistically the viewing figures weren't as strong. And obviously there's all these arguments nowadays of, um, well, people don't watch TV as much anymore, which is very, very true, but also in the public consciousness and just in my general life, like this is just my experience, when I go out and talk to people and meet people, they stopped watching Doctor Who quite a few years ago. So I get where this comes from, even if it's worded badly, and I don't think this is worded directly from Russell, this is someone else, so I don't think any anger should be given towards Russell for this comment, but yeah, I think it makes sense what he's saying. Russell wants to make Doctor Who this big powerhouse. He also is doing spin-offs, like we've had that confirmed by Katie Manning and various other people, so it does just make sense. Russell wants Doctor Who to be this really big, big property on the same level as Star Wars and Marvel, which is why there's the Disney Plus deal, so I'm sure there's no offence intended to Chris Chibnall, and if there is, then they can shut up, but yeah, I think it, it does make sense, and as the quote goes on to say, one of the best ways he can do that is to ensure that he has the best possible people writing for the programme. Also, it has been quite a few years since Stephen Moffat left. It's coming up to like six or seven years, so it does make sense that he might want to throw himself back into it. But yeah, that's roughly... The article just continues sort of quotes and stuff. I'll link it in the description if you want to go and read the full thing. But yeah, it's really, really exciting news. Now, obviously, it's not confirmed, but it does make a lot of sense, and I think it would be great to see. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, comment any other writers you think should write for Doctor Who, because there's so many, so many writers out there. I do think we need some new talent, which is why I suggested the person who wrote Doctor Who redacted, because yeah, we need some fresh ideas, as well as these fantastic OG writers coming back to the property. But yeah, that does bring us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out our Doctor Who fan film Echoes Return, Echoes End 3, which currently doesn't have a name, but the third and final instalment of our Doctor Who fan film saga is in production now. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, it really helps me out a lot, and goodbye.